OK, now let's head over to Mark, who's created our Whoop Wednesday recipe this week as part of the Guest Chef series. And you've got lamb on the menu, and you've got a guest with you. That's it. I've got Thomas here from Whoop. He's the actual founder of Whoop, and he invited me to create a recipe, something that I cook at home, and this is what I've cre created. So welcome, Thomas, to the kitchen. Bonjour, Mark. And thank you. Bonjour. We'll be speaking a bit of French later. Well, probably not. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I've got lamb on the menu. So I've created a uh, lamb tagine. So we're making these beautiful little lamb uh, meatballs, and we spice the mince. We've got a beautiful, rich, uh, spicy tomato sauce, really fresh, and we're going to finish it with some seeds and feta, mm. a nice bit of crusty bread, and lots of fresh herbs and bacon egg in it as well. So it's a one-pot wonder. Love to cook that at home. It's full of flavour, and we're going to show you that a little, little bit later on in the show. Great to have you with us in the cafe kitchen, and welcome back to another Whoop Wednesday. Love Whoop Wednesdays. And Mark, this is actually your recipe, isn't it? it? Is. You're the it guest is. chef for Whoop. I'm the guest chef. That means you have to do all the work today. Yeah, fair enough. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> wow, yeah. this is cool. So what are we making? Right, so we've got lamb tagine, so Moroccan, so full of spices and flavours, um, nice textures in there, and as we said before, we're going to cook it all in one pan, and we're going to crack an egg in and bake it in the oven as well. So, Yum. It's, so it's just a, it's just a great, um, great recipe, all in one pan, lots of flavour, and just you know ticks all the boxes. So it's great. Right. So with Whoop, of course, you get this pretty much half done for you, ready to go. Yeah, exactly. So, but, but here we're going to make it from scratch, aren't we? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So we're going to, we're going to show you how to do the lamb. We're going to show you how to do the sauce, uh, and then obviously when you order it, you've got the lamb done, the sauce is done, so it's really, really oh, fast. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> Sweet. You see, it's all colour coded. It's brilliant. But. Uh, while, we, while we're cooking, I've got a question for you. When Whoop and Thomas came to you and said, hey, I want you to create a recipe, yep. why did you choose this particular one? Well, I mean, it's, it's you know, they, they said with a brief, you know, you can do anything you want, but, you know, we've got all these chefs and they're all going to come and do the recipes, but we want to do something what you cook on your day off, you know, you don't want to make it too chefy. Right. Right, so so something that you'd cook at home and, uh, you know, cooking at home, as we've sort of talked about in the show as well, you know, it's very busy, you've got loads of kids and everything, so we love those sort of like fast, tasty recipes. Right. You know, one pot wonders, so that's what it is. One Great. Pot no, I like that, and it's true. I mean, that's why a lot of people use Whoop, because... You know, busy lifestyle, but they still want delicious, great oh, definitely, food definitely. that's easy <clears throat> to prepare. OK, right, well, speaking of preparing, what are you doing? Right, so we've got the lamb mince here. Yep. So a little bit of salt and pepper. Yep. We've got a little bit of chilli in there, some flakes and some cumin. Mm -hmm. So that's just a, just a light spice mix, and that's just going to give us some flavour into the lamb mix. Right. right so you just want to work all that in. Make sure it's evenly distributed. Well, it smells good from here. Yeah, exactly. And Moroccan food as well. You know, it's 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 really simple, but just get, you just get like it from a very easy recipe. You get high impact of flavour. You know, there's lots of lots of these beautiful spices balanced out in there. You know, you can have it a little bit spicy if you want to, but you don't need to. You know, you can have all that spice and flavour without the heat if you want, or just very minimal heat. Brilliant. Look at this. Look, Mark's got his name on this card. This is so good. Look at it. Mark Salvin's recipe. Isn't that amazing? <laughs> that is incredible. Yeah, we're doing this oh. next week. I don't know, my, <laughs> you wouldn't need to create much if it was my <laughs> recipe. I'll leave that to the experts in Whoop, OK? Right, okay. So, so, so we've got the lamb mix, so we just yes. seasoned it. Got a pan here, just a little bit of oil. We're going to boil them like so, and just going to put them in. And just want to brown them lightly on all sides. We're not cooking them fully at this point. We're just right. going to get a nice little bit of uh, brownness on there. Just And as you boil them, just give it a little sort of squash, bit of pressure in your hands and then roll it, and you get these beautiful, nice sort of shapes. Looks brilliant. So I'm just going to do that. Yep. Do you need anything I need to do, Chef? Uh, you can toast some seeds, actually. This is like me with Whoop. When I get Whoop at home, just so don't have to do much, really. Just get your partner to do yeah. everything. <laughs> Pretty much. <laughs> um, toast some, some sesame right, so, seeds. So we've got some seeds, so a little bit of texture at the very end. Yep. We've got some sunflower, pumpkin, uh, a little bit of cumin, and some sesame. So you can put them in a dry pan, okay. just over a medium heat, yep. and we're just going to toast them lightly. And then once okay, you start cool. getting like just a little bit of colour, but that aroma comes out, you know they're ready, so just pull them off then. OK, cool. And they all go in at once? Yep, you put cool. them all in at once, and just keep an eye on them. So, you know, give them a stir around or a shake around. These two? Every now, yep. Every now and again. And then I'm just going to keep going. Woo! That's hot. <laughs> <laughs> OK, cute little pan, though, isn't it? Yeah, that's cool. So, so you can do all this for a whole recipe in one pan, you know? So you can do nice. these first, take them out, make the sauce, and then pop everything back in. But we're just going to do it in a couple of pans just to show you. And then we'll put everything back in, crack the eggs in, bake it in the oven, and then it will be the one pan. Brilliant. It's another Whoop Wednesday, and we'll get the next steps to make this delicious recipe very soon. Hey, welcome back to the Cafe Kitchen, and welcome back, Thomas Dietz from Whoop. It's Whoop Wednesday. Good to have you here. Look at this, ladies and gentlemen. Isn't this a good-looking kitchen between Mark and Thomas? <laughs> My goodness, it's not just the food that's hot, 
Ooh la la. Hey, ooh la la, all right. Bonjour. OK, um, fantastic to have you on the show. Uh, Mark, I mean, he's a great chef. You obviously like utilising different chefs for your foodie box. How do you choose them? Are we really, really lucky to have uh, lots of uh, chefs uh, now uh, starting to uh, come to us. Um, and what we wanted to do with this uh, new series is uh, uh, getting into this mystery of uh, what do those chefs uh, that have uh, been working in those uh, Michelin star uh, restaurants do when they are at home for their own family, their guests, and specifically their kids. And uh, Mark has some uh, young girls, so uh, I think it's... Uh, yeah, and they, and they love spicy food as well. Yeah. Not hot food, but, but spices. And uh, full of flavour food, which is really good, actually. Yeah, and that's what I love about the recipes, because it's easy to make a meatball, but it's about getting the right flavour and whoop with the help of some guest chefs create that for you so you don't have to worry about getting the right mixture. So it's absolutely incredible. And you've had some great guest chefs, haven't you? Should we go through some of them that yeah, you've got? So we, we, we have Sergio Maloney uh, from uh, Farina. Farina. Yes. We have um, Seb Heinrich that uh, was at the French Cafe before and that probably uh, worked with you that yeah, uh, yeah. now is at uh, Good old uh, La La Lava Din Dining. And uh, we have as well uh, Jamie from um, Judge Bao that uh, came yes. up as yes. well. So you'll be able to uh, discover in the comfort of your own home what they cook at home. And uh, the great stuff with Whoop is that everything can be made really, really quickly and very easily. Brilliant, chefs. So that's it. It's all about fresh produce too, making it quick and easy. Do you want me to do anything, Mark? Sorry. Do you get your hands dirty much in the kitchen? Oh, I try uh, to... to uh, get there yeah, quite, 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 quite a bit and uh, what, what we're lucky to do is that we try all the meals uh, before uh, they go on so oh nice uh, oh yeah tough gig yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's really hard sometimes lots of pressure we have uh, eight nine recipes to try so oh yeah, so if you need a hand uh, <laughs> you yeah, can yeah. be a call yeah. so the, the, the good stuff is to try to, to get the kids involved and uh, get wow. the feedback of the kids because um, yeah yeah, yeah. Uh, it's quite easy to please adults, pleasing uh, kids. It's uh, an right. story, so yeah. we, we're quite lucky to uh, have some recipes that kids enjoy. A oh, nice, and Mark, um, this right. is smelling incredible. What have, what have we missed? So you've done the, the entire sauce. The entire <laughs> sauce, sorry. No, no, so we've got some... Uh, so in the same pan, you've cooked the meatballs off, so here are the meatballs. So same pan, we've just sweated some onions off, a bit of garlic, uh, and then we've got some spices, some smoked paprika, some cumin again, and some chilli flakes. But you can, you know, if you don't want it too hot for the kids, you can leave them out if you right. want. But a little bit of heat's really nice. Um, and then some, um, just some tomatoes. And you're going to bring that to the boil and just slowly cook that so it sort of thickens and intensifies. Right. And this is what we've got in this pan here now. Right, so that is what you'll get with yeah. the wheat box. And, and this yeah. is what you get. So I've just sort of warmed that up. There are the meatballs, Easy. so we've sealed them off. Still a little bit raw in the centre, but that's what we want. Going to pop them in there. And then what we do is get that hot again, get it all covered, and I'm just going to make a little hole. Smells nice. Oh, it's a little smell, area. And then what we do is get an egg and then pop oh, an egg that in looks there. looks fancy. Okay? So you've got your nice little cavity for your egg. Just make sure it sort of pops down like that. Obviously, if you use a bigger pan, then you're going to cook for, like, you know, more than two people or one person. It's pretty much, if you've got these small pans, you can do it for one person. Mm. Get it back up to heat as well. Going to give a little seasoning right. on top of that egg, and then you're going to put this in a hot oven, okay? So for about sort of you know 10, 15 minutes or so, you just want that um, you want it all to bake together, get all those flavours into the meatballs, into the egg, and the egg wants to be set. Bring it out, and then we're just going to finish it a little bit later. We've got some feta to finish it, some fresh herbs, and then obviously these toasted seeds, which are beautiful now, nice and crispy, and really still those flavours. Mm -hmm. And when you get your work box on a Sunday night, it all comes fresh and packaged up, labelled, ready for you to make it nice and easy at home. Thank you so much. And thank you, can I just say thank you to Whoop too, because people love the fact that we give away a work box, and here is your chance. If you'd like to be having Mark's spice leap, meatball, rather, meatball tagine, uh, don't fancy making it from scratch then why don't you order a whoop food box today at whoop.co.nz and it'll be delivered ready to go this sunday and lucky for you we have a whoop foodie box up for grabs on our facebook page yeah. so okay it's whoop wednesday and mark this recipe does look like the card whoa oh, well done <laughs> he's done a good job isn't oh, he just yeah. the recipe. <laughs> That's you right. can make it look like this <laughs>